Good morning guys. I'm Rosin Fly Fishing and today we're hitting big water again. We're gonna hit the Bow River, but we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna hit the Bow River in the northwest part of the city. So where I've actually parked is called um, Valley Ridge, which is uh, a beautiful community down by a golf course right along the Bow River, just south of the Bears Paw Dam. So I'm hoping to find some puppy trails or something that I can get down onto the river. And the plan for today is triple nymph rig. And you know, another part of today is I just wanted to go exploring, guys. It's been a while since I've just gone to explore. Now there's a path there, but I think that goes to someone's backyard. So let's just keep walking down here a bit. Yeah, we're, we're up a good ways. We got a little hike ahead of us. Um, and where I'm fishing, if you look at Google Maps, at Valley Ridge and Bow River, you'll see that there's a couple of pretty long islands. And the north side of those islands, especially the, the bigger one further out, the north side looks like a really nice stretch of water. And that's what I want to fish today. Check that out and then we'll, we'll move around. I've got about two and a half, three hours to fish. Guys, I think we found it. A little break in the trees. Oh, come on, guys. I have three uh, flies on this drop shot rig off of a swivel right here. I've got my top fly is a sulfur nymph, kind of imitating a stone fly or a sulfur, uh, sulfur bug, I can't remember what they're called. The middle one is a buggy looking soft tackle that because of my drop shot is gonna sink. So it's just gonna look super buggy in the middle of the water column. My bottom fly is not off a tag today. It's just got a drop shot about four or five inches below it, but it's my red, red wire Reese's Pieces worm, Bow River killer. We know there's less fish in the Northwest. That's a fact, the water treatment plants are just passed downtown and there's a ton of food source coming out from those worms, insects, etc for all those beautiful Bow River huge fish that you find in the south. But there are fish in the Northwest, there have to be, and this looks like a beautiful untapped location. So we're in the, in the first little stretch between the first island. You can see faster water out ahead of me. You might even be able to see the edge of the Bears Paw Dam. I'm sitting in the middle of the two little islands. So you can see behind me, the middle channel here is almost nothing. Like there's just a couple inches of water. But just out here behind me, on the north side of these uh, of this middle island, that water gets really fast. And actually, if you look up toward Bear's Paw Dam here, there's a nice seam coming off of that uh, little bit of land there. So that seam might well be fishable. And uh, I haven't looked over here in the in the faster water yet, but there's probably some areas where it slows down that would be nice to drop into. So let's go explore. I'm thinking we start up at the seam that we know about because we can see it and later we'll go explore the faster water. <laughs> you know, I'm certainly walking through fishy water, but there's deeper to my left and fishier to my right, so I'm trying to split the difference here. So we're ticking bottom, which means our indicator height is good. Our drop shot technique is working. You can also see nicely now in this light, the bubble line that I'm working. It's uh, usually a good indicator that it's a fishy spot. Man, it is so fun exploring. You know what's nice about the water up in the Northwest is like, I know some guys like guides and stuff that live locally hit this, but it is not pressured at all the same way as the fish in the South. So even if the density is like 10% of what it is below the water treatment and out of the city, or even maybe less than 10%, um, the fish probably are not used to seeing all kinds of stuff thrown at them. They might be a little hungrier. They also have a little, maybe a lot less food than the fish that, uh, that's a snag. Are downstream of the water treatment plant, so. I don't know, we'll see. See if we can get into a fish. guys doing? You guys are just goofing, man. You're just hanging upside down from a tree. What are you, a lemur? I always knew you guys were all goofs. You follow me, you're a goof. All right, so we worked that nice seam for a while. 
I maintain it was a very nice seam actually, much better than I thought it would be. Uh, nothing, and we came out here in part to explore, so let's go explore. Let's get into this fast water on the north side of this little island. Right along the fast water. Oh, there's a huge rock right there, actually. It's pretty primo. Look at that drift, that is perfection. We snagged, got a little excited. This is fast water. I don't like being on the edge of this fast water like this. Man, I'm really loving how green it is. Spring is totally here and summer's on the way, guys. This is fun. Fun doing B-roll stuff, actually. Oh no! I hooked a tree. This is real deep, isn't it? Oh, does that flatten out? A little bit, not a lot. Whew! All right, okay, all right, all right. Okay, I'm slipping. Jesus. Hey guys, this is fishable. This bubble line's fishable. It's a little fast. Yeah, it's a little fast. I'm hoping there's some good water at the end of this, uh, of this island, possibly the other island down there as well. Because this whole eastern side, it was just too rough, too fast. Looks like it might get deep here. And there's a lot of food pushing into the spot in the current over these rocks, so there could be a lot of bugs. Could be a, a trout happy place. There's a nice little slow pocket here. Actually, actually, now that I'm here, there's a nice slow seam all along that bank. Yeah, it's amazing how deep some of this water is. So that's a, I might, I might have to find a way to get up onto this bank. I might backtrack actually up to this, uh, Backtrack up the gravel riffle, cross in that super shallow stuff, get onto this island and cast upstream on the bank. I think that's the best way to work it. So right where this current, which you can see in front of me, starts to come in toward the bank and hit this bubble line from the middle river, right there is where it's gonna start to get super, super fishy. <clears throat> so that's where we're gonna start to work. And then all down along this bank is beautiful fishy water. It's deep but it's going slow enough that uh, one drop shot should do it. And uh, I don't know, I guess we'll see if a fish is home. If you're willing to put in the time and you want some solitude inner city with a, a, a reduced chance of catching a fish, come to the Northwest. It's beautiful. But you gotta come to a spot like this that's like, you gotta like work a little bit for it. You can't just walk out onto the river from parking. Uh, because those spots like Boness are, you will see other people fishing when you go. And if you just want to get away, then coming out here, there might be like one other dude fishing here in the summer, but like I can't imagine it's hammered. Well, this is some nice water, guys. If nothing else, this is a beautiful morning. The wind is low. We've done some exploring. I kind of love this spot. I wish it was fishier, but if it was fishier, it would be highly pressured and I have a snag. All right, so we're at the uh, eastern end of the middle, sorry, not the middle, the, uh, the long island on the edge, actually, on the southern side of the Bow River here. And uh, there's definitely been some nice water all along the, uh, the middle edge of this island. And, uh, you know, that nice water continues down here. So we're just fishing it. And we're dealing with snags when they come. At this point, I've been fishing for about two hours and um, got about another hour left. And it's just been beautiful, guys. I don't know what to say. The birds are chirping, the wind is low, the sun is out. It's, uh, this is exactly four weeks since the last time I fished the Bow River, actually. It's been a while, guys. This month I was uh, 
busy and doing some DeWitt's Pond stuff with family and the meetup, and uh, so I'm sorry I haven't been put, putting out. Oh, I might have just had a fish. I immediately had a tug on my line after casting. Darn. It could have been a quick snag, but I mean, that drop shot would have had to just go down so far so quickly. Maybe there's a rock there. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to say I'm sorry there hasn't been more Bull River content this month, but I actually have an announcement that's going to come out at some point, guys, and that is that this actually might be my last Bow River video for many, many, many years because my wife and I are moving to Vancouver in June. So that's the announcement. I'm going to keep the channel going in Vancouver. There's going to be some... I'm quite excited. I'm, I'm going to miss all of you guys in Calgary. Um, and Alberta, anyone who is watching me for the Bow River, I'm sorry you won't have any more content from me, but there are some other good creators out there doing Bow River stuff, so I hope you stay on and watch my adventures in Vancouver because I'm really excited. Like, we have family out there with a boat, so I might be able to do some ocean fishing. We have a fish. I don't know what kind of fish, but we have a fish. It's shaking a lot. I gotta tire him out. So I, I, I tend to try to rush the net job, guys. I think it's a white, yeah, it's a white fish. Gotta make sure I'm recording, yeah. Guys, there's, uh, there's fish in the north. I am not gonna rush this fish. I wanna land a damn fish in the Northwest. No, all right, you're not done. Now he's not done. This might be, I wonder if this is a rainbow because Is he tired? Guys, there's trout in the northwest. I told you. All right, so a couple things, guys, real quick. First of all, we'll get him in the sun where he's pretty. Second of all, I want him facing upstream so the water can run over his gills while he's in my net, guys. Number three, you see what he took? He took my Bow River Killer, guys, that red wire Reese's Pieces worm, brown orange hybrid steely from Bow River Fly Shop, or sorry, Iron Bow Fly Shop up in the northwest. Oh man, what a beautiful trout, guys. That's a good uh, 14, 15 incher. We're gonna get out my, uh, my cell phone, take some photos real quick. So, brown trout, not a rainbow. He's got little, you can see, he's got little tiny black on his cheeks. And he's got, or you see those orange spots? They're almost bright orange, guys. All right, let's get this, uh, let's get the hook out. Where is that? Is that in your tongue, buddy? That's in his tongue, guys. Shit, that sucks. We're gonna have to do a little surgery on him. Okay, let's put this between my legs. We get two hands going. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, man. I'm gonna just have to do a yank job on you. Wait, did it come out? Oh, it came out. Yes. That trout did me a nice service. He, uh, that's the fly, guys. That's the fly that did it. Oh, man. All right. We want a beautiful cover shot today, guys, while treating this fish properly, all right? I really like doing two hands with these fish. All right, one, two, three. Get him back in the water. There he goes, guys. Oh, let's go. Guys, you can fish in the northwest of Calgary, in the Bow River, solitude, beautiful days there are trout here that are a decent size that make your heart beat 
You don't need to go and sit under an overpass with 10 other people beside you to catch a fish in Calgary. A day like this, where you're going somewhere new, you're trying something new, maybe even something that's like not recommended to you, it could be extremely rewarding. <laughs> There's actually a huge amount of super fishy water in this area. Like as far as I can see in front of me, almost the entire way across the river is fishable. It's nice, slow, bubble line, fishable. Um, the water, okay, is that a, it's a snag, right? Yeah, that's a snag. The water behind me here for like a good 50, 100 meters is completely fishable. It's that nice, slow, bubble line, riffly, lightly riffly water. And it's that perfect depth of like two and a half to four feet. There's a lot of people that don't live in the Southeast where the like classically great fishing is. Um, and a lot of people in the Northwest who like fishing and are gonna wanna see a nice trout caught in the Northwest. I think it's gonna do well, guys. Maybe, maybe you could help me, help me out here and make it do well. Bo boost up my video with comments, fill the comments section, click that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see more fishing uh, content from me with my commentary and everything that I, <laughs> all the goof that I bring to my videos. Understanding that I am moving to Vancouver, guys. It's happening. It's happening really soon in like three weeks. And uh, I'm gonna keep making fishing content. I'm even gonna expand my fishing content and do some other cool things like clamming and crabbing and uh, tidal water fishing, maybe some salmon fishing. Uh, and just do a whole bunch of cool stuff in BC around Vancouver, guys. So I hope you stick with me. I hope you hit that subscribe button and, and uh, keep watching my content when I'm in another province, guys. Even when I'm in Vancouver, I want you to hit me up on Instagram. I want you to drop comments on videos. I want you to ask questions about the Bow River. I only fished it for a year and then I peaced out, but you know, I will do my best to help you guys out, give you some tips, etc. you know. I, uh, I want to keep that community here, even though I won't be, you know, on the river the same way that you guys are. So just uh, don't forget about me, guys, because I'm not going to forget about you.